Okay, so I just finished up a huge project with my car. Here's what my car looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. So I'm going to go step by step on what I've done. For starters, I took out the emblem, the super emblem in the middle of the grill. I cut it out with the Dremel. I sanded it and filed it down. Bondoed it, primered it, and repainted it. But that was the easy part. Putting a front mount intercooler on a Subaru WRX is a pain in the ass, especially if you want to retain the front bumper beam. So to spare you the details, I took the front bumper off, cut the front bumper beam, mounted the front mount intercooler, then ran the piping, then had to cut the front bumper because the plastic was hitting the piping for the intercooler, and here's how it turned out. This is easily the toughest project I've tackled with this car. Um, before it was the up pipe and down pipe mod. Um, that was a pain in the dickhead just because of the up pipe. But this, Subarus were never meant to have a front mount intercooler. And you know that the second you try and do this mod. You either have to remove a front crash bar, which God forbid you get into a car accident. Or you have to cut it like I did. As you can see my cuts right there. I also modified the fog light cover so you could see into the slots a little bit more. So you could see the white piping. I painted the intercooler black, uh, just gave it two light coats um, so it didn't hinder the uh, cooling performance of a front intercooler. Um, I got that black nose thing going on so I, I think it fit pretty well. Had to cut a lot of plastic off, like a hell of a lot of plastic. Um, this car needs a paint job by the way. Those two blacks aren't really matching. There's chips and scratches everywhere. It's, it's a Subaru. <laughs> so there it is final product. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I actually took it to Cars and Coffee this past Sunday, and a lot of people were asking me about it. Um, I mean, I, I don't think it's that bad. Not great, but it's not bad. It's Turbo XS from an intercooler, if you weren't sure. I retained the uh, stock bypass valve. To do this mod, you need a smaller coolant reservoir can. You can see the aluminum can to the right there. Routing the piping was pretty easy. It was the mounting the intercooler, which is hard. There's the final product. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you're adding about four to five times the amount of piping the stock top mount intercooler had. So you will have a little bit more boost lag. Um, I mean, if you're launch if you're wide open throttle at 4,000 RPMs, you won't notice it. But like if you're around, you know, 2,500 RPMs and you go wide open throttle, which you should not do with these cars. One of the main reasons there's Ringland failures with these engines. But anyways, if you do that, you will notice boost lag. I also took the uh, shroud or whatever you call that for the hood scoop so you could see into the scoop a bit more which I'll show you in a second but yeah there it is um the butt dyno when I'm you know just driving I feel like the car has better top end power I don't know if that's true or not I, don't, I never had it on a dyno yet I do want to protein. tune um I can tell you that the intake temperatures are reduced by 25 degrees both idling and driving um, which is pretty nice you can see the piping through the scoop which is pretty cool I want to I don't know if I want to keep this scoop or not I don't know Anyways, uh, yeah, that's how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. Huge project. If you have any questions on how it went or how the car is running now, just ask in the comments. And uh, I have some big plans for mods in the future. Peace out.